just when you see one of these planets live through your telescope, just nothing else like it. This is probably one of the best nights of astrophotography I've had in a very long time. So tonight is the opposition of the planet Saturn, which means it is closest to Earth and the absolute best time to take a picture of it. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing tonight. Tonight I'm going to be taking a picture of the planet Saturn through my telescope. not moved this telescope probably in about like six or seven months now and it's really been a nice place in my yard to get a lot of deep sky targets but unfortunately for Saturn Saturn's gonna be over there to the south and as you can see south is like look at that you see, look at that tree right there and that's like where Saturn's gonna be and there's really no other place in my yard that I'm I can actually see Saturn for a long time so you see this we go move over right here this is where I'm going to have to move the scope. I'm going to have to move it like right against the house right here so I can pull a line looking this way. And see that little gap right there in the sky? That little round, that's the only area I'm going to be able to see Saturn. It's going to, it's going to come up here, rise, and I might be able to get it over there, and then it's going to set like right down here. And that's the only opportunity between that little gap tonight. So I just hope it's clear when Saturn passes through there. So I guess right now I'm just going to start moving it from there all the way to there so I'm gonna get doing that and after I'm done with that I'm gonna go show you guys some of the gear I'm gonna be using specific gear to get the best image possible of Saturn Here are all the pieces of equipment that I'm going to be using for tonight's session. I brought the telescope in, put on this little table so I could kind of spread it all out because you guys really like to know what I'm using. So basically this is my ZWO ASI 224MC um, Pro camera and you can see that really small sensor in there which is perfect for planetary imaging. This is usually my guide camera which goes on this guide scope but I'm, it works perfectly as a planetary camera so that's what I'm going to be using tonight. Then I also have this uh, Astro, Astromania UV IR cutoff CCD filter. So with this filter, I basically thread either on here or in the back of my Barlow lens, and it will um, cut out that, that bad light, that UV light that we don't want that really messes up our planetary images. So this is a new addition. Last year when I shot plants, I did not have this, so I'm interested to see how much of a difference that's gonna make. Then of course, my shorty, 2x Barlow from Orion that I've been using. This is not the best Barlow for planetary imaging, but it'll definitely give me that extra focal length uh, that I need for this scope. So everything's going to attach to this end of the scope right now. So I'm going to do that for you guys right now so you can see how it's going to go. Okay, so now I'm just see I'm threading it onto the camera here. And then I'm going to stick this. So this is basically what it looks like right here. Basically this. this our imaging train and then I think this will just thread not thread this will just go right back there so like that and that's how I think it's gonna look tonight so I'm finally done moving my telescope from over there to over here and it is a lot of move work to move a setup like this that is why I have it so I don't need to move it but it's all ready right now as you see it's all ready to photograph the planet Saturn tonight with those awesome rings and the Cassini division and also some of those moons I should be able to get some of those moons with this camera I should be ready to go with this Barlow camera the UVR cut filter of the scene good tonight and the weather holds true should be able to get an awesome image of planet Saturn so just so just remember to go look out, check out Saturn if you have a telescope. You can see it through binoculars. You have a telescope that you can look through. You should be able to see those rings on the beautiful planet Saturn, as long as you don't have all these obstructions like I do. But 
Right now is the absolute perfect time to take a look at the planet Saturn and Jupiter as well. So just make sure to go check these out and I hope we'll be able to share with you a beautiful image of the planet tonight. So the software that I'm using to photograph Saturn tonight is actually SharpCap. So this software right here, I'll load it up for you guys. And that's what I'm going to be using to capture the video files of Saturn. Remember that planetary imaging, you don't just take um, many photos like you do for astrophotography. These two things are both astrophotography in a sense, but they're totally different animals. So for planetary imaging, you have to capture many video files and try to capture as many as you want to capture those ones with better scene but I'll warn you planetary imaging takes up so much space on your computer that's why you got to have enough um, space on your PC luckily I think this computer is loaded up with space so I I should be okay but still just make sure you're not running your um, whole computer out of gigabyte space because these files can be gigabytes big but this is basically it. all you need all you do is just go up to like cameras connect your camera mines it, it recognizes it right away if you have the drivers installed and you can start capturing it's that simple so it's I feel like planetary imaging in a sense in a way is kind of more simple than astrophotography but in a way it isn't because there's so many factors that go into getting a sharp image of the planet I feel like it's a lot easier to get a clear astrophotography image you just got to get tons of data but for planetary imaging you got to kind of got to get that night with good seeing you got to have the right focal length telescopes with large focal length telescopes are usually more expensive I mean sometimes it can be pretty expensive like all telescopes and it's a totally different animal but now the planetary season's coming I really want to get um do more planetary than astrophotography this month hopefully everything goes alright tonight these clouds clear like you that you see in the sky and I can get a good image of Saturn so wish me luck Okay guys, so it's about 1 in the morning now and my telescope is pointed at the planet Saturn. And just look at that. Like really right now, it's like just when you see one of these planets live through your telescope, just nothing else like it. This is probably one of the best nights of astrophotography I've had in a very long time. Just viewing the planets. And I think this is probably the best seeing I've almost ever had to, to photograph Saturn. Like, and I can clearly see the Cassini division um, there. Some, sometimes the scene goes a little wonky, but other times it's really crisp. I'm just gonna capture those best, best frames and stack them. I should have an incredible image to share with you guys of the planet Saturn. Planetary astrophotography, there's something different about it, you know what I mean? Just seeing the planet actually live through your telescope and some of those awesome details and I really think that filter that I have is making a big difference with the colors and with diff with making different things pop out more I really think that filter is making a big difference but yeah guys everything is going great tonight and I hope you enjoyed this video of, of photographing planet Saturn it was so awesome for me to share this experience with you guys and it's probably one of my best nights of astrophotography I've had in a very long time so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and as always until next time clear skies mm -hmm.